This is the southern bog lemming. Its common name is the bog lemming, and its scientific name is the Snaptomus cooper. Here's a complete classification of the southern bog lemming. Its kingdom is Animalia, Phylum, Chordata, Class, Mammalia, Order, Rodentia, Family, Cricidae, Subfamily, Arvicolinae, Genus, Synapsitomies, Species, Synapsitomies, Cooperi. Some advantages. Um, of the bog lemming. Um, the bog lemming can camouflage well in its native home, um, making it um, harder for predators to attack it, and that is why it thrives in such large numbers. The bog lemming also builds underground nests in order per to protect itself, and this can help it survive longer and build greater populations. Some disadvantages of the bog lemming, as in a fight, the bog lemming is quite small, rang in at around 21 to 33 grams, and this makes it a poor fighter. As you can see in these pictures, it is quite small and can easily be snatched up by most birds and eaten by most snakes. It has no means of protection against predators except for its unimpressive claws. You can see on its hands here in the picture, this won't damage any larger predators, so that makes it a disadvantage. Some fun facts about the bog lemming. The bog lemming can be found in Northeast and Southwest Canada, as we see here on this map. These are the most common places the bog lemming lives. So you can see here, it comes into part of Tennessee. So it is one of Tennessee's animals. They are herbivores that feed mostly on roots and berries that litter the forest floor since they do not climb. Um, a few more fun facts. The bog lemming's main predators include the owls, hawks, foxes, and snakes that inhabit its um, habitat. Most bog lemmings live less than a year, so very short life. Bog lemmings can be found in groups of a few to a few dozen, and they live in those underground nests. That is all about the bog lemming.